this is where the church used to be. Look at this shit. Not only that, look at how they totally tore up the woods. <coughs> My trail ran through that. Well, let me tell you something. In 1997, I learned that this was supposed to be protected wetlands. The environmental impact statement for the global transport. So, I simply called the EPA and reported this. And hopefully, someone or someone is going to get in big trouble. They have to pay some big fines. This right here is where that old country church used to be. And a year ago, these right, these woods right here, my trail, in and out, right out there. Now look at this fucking shit. My trail in somewhere way back there. Did the motherfuckers who was, are responsible for the logging down of these woods violate the environmental impact statement required to be in place for the making of the for the bringing in of the global transport or do they find find a way to snake their way around it this fucking pisses now don't get me wrong if they can build some businesses here so that my can, trails can have a definite ending some meaning I'll be I'll go for that even though my trails will be shorter than what they were let me show you some shit. Yep, right there. St. Peter's Freeway Baptist Church used to be. And this goddamn Felix Harvey Freeway was a goddamn dirt road. Back for 2001, <clears throat> when this St. Peter's Freeway Baptist Church stood on this dirt road, this was all flatlands. Even after the most atrociously wet of hurricanes, this church and the woods behind it for a hundred feet or so were dry as a bone. But now, thanks to the goddamn NCDMV, they raised up Felix Harvey Freeway so that this place where the church once stood now after the, after just a little rainfall becomes a goddamn swampland. I cursed the Department of North Carolina Department of Transportation for this. I cursed the ones responsible for logging those woods out. I look at this shit. You see this shit? <gasps> you see this shit? Look at this goddamn shit. There's where my trails in, in it. The second time around, when the, after they tore down the church. Look at all that fucking shit. There used to be some tall, dark woods right there, down there. Now look at this fucking shit. And can you understand why, if murder was legal, I'd want to kill, roll some heads. Because they've taken away from me my past. They've, dis they've uprooted the tree. No, they, no, they cut the tree from its roots. And hi, and now all, all I got to look forward to is growing old, getting sicker, feeling like cunt, and I wish murder was legal, you know? And what out to the motherfuckers who own these acres that have been locked out? I hope you know. Your goddamn companies have violated the environmental impact statement of the global transport in cutting down these wetlands. As far as I'm, it's what I was told in 1997 at the Kinson Regional Jail Jetport was right. And I hope you all get fucking burned. And fines and punishment. And I curse you spiritually. With curses. With darkness. See that? My trails 
come this fall and winter, I haven't found out where my trail now ends. Man, I wish St. Peter's Free Will Baptist Church was by, still here. Where my trail come at the, at the end. Man, I wish this was still goddamn Benjamin Franklin, goddamn secondary dirt road. Man, I wish this goddamn freeway was about a thousand feet or so further north up there. Man, I wish I still had a connection to the past. When my family was alive, when I was happy, when the only thing I was unhappy about was I was not a good looking guy and my arms were not long enough. But if I had had the money to buy the Richard Wood, I could I, Wood, I could have gotten the searches. I could have been exceedingly happy back then. And been ready now to lay it all down at the feet of Jesus and start serving Jesus. Well, ten years from now. I wanted to enjoy this as long as I could. Like I said, these woods are owned by uh, approximately maybe more than 11 different entities. So even if I won the billion dollar jackpot, it would be a bitch and a half trying to buy up all these woods. And now with this goddamn sinus equilibrium, whatever, I, the doctors cannot fucking diagnose. I doubt I'm going to be able to make the train in my trail. It's 20 years old now. I started it. 20 and a half years old. I started it on November 10th, I think. That's when I was my grandma passed away. I always... Oh, fuck it, man. I always wanted to know whether it... Fuck it. Man. If only I had won the goddamn lottery. Back in 1998, 99, I could have paid those goddamn motherfuckers to move this goddamn freeway a few hundred yards out that way. And thus I could have spared St. Peter's Free Will Baptist Church. I could have bought all these woods, and my children would still be what today, what they were when I finished them on the last Wednesday of February 1998. Right now, I. I'm enduring a strange visual disturbance in this eye right here. Shit. My god fucking damn bite in my eye in the peripheral vision. I don't want to know what the fuck it is. Is it caused my sinus, sinusitis? But I'm taking fluticacin E, and I still got that funny feeling behind my right eye. Not as bad as it had been, but maybe I just need to fucking kill myself. The tree is dead. <coughs> I've been cut off from my past. I'm getting old. I'm terrified it's going to get be too late soon to get the surgeries, to get my longer arms, to be a good looking guy, to look at my, while we're looking in my 20s. Maybe I just need to fucking kill myself. You know, some people aren't meant to get a happy ending. It was a wonderful life, Rel relatively speaking, yes. But I came so close to perfection, but missed. And since missing the mark is the same thing as sin, the wages of sin is death. If the wages of sin is death, maybe I should just fucking kill myself. And impose this wages upon myself <coughs> because I could be dying anywhere from this un mysterious illness in my fucking head. There. My trails are in there somewhere, but it used to be this right here was woods that had memories of me and my cousin, Paul. And I was getting scared because we were so far away. I was thinking about one of those mud monsters I had seen on the Super Friends coming out. You see this shit? <gasps> you see this shit? Yeah. If only I had the fucking money, I could buy these woods. I could have bought these woods before it was too late. Well, look on the bright side. They'll go back much healthier and thicker than the shitty woods that were before. Maybe. Well, if we get some businesses here, uh, I can have my trails come out to these businesses, and I'd love that. But if I 
could be the owner of the business businesses in the land. I want to be king. Make me king. And fuck the world. God damn it, just give me my little kingdom and y'all y'all can have the rest of the fucking world. Even so, I'm told that there are, uh, I, I've seen in the courtroom that there are approximately 11 or so, maybe more entities that own this one patch of woods, these acres, that my trails snake through. My trails snake through probably about six or seven, maybe more. Patches of woods by uh, in, in the own patches of woods. So even if I had the fucking money, it would be a bitch and a goddamn half to track every goddamn one of them down and offer them a sum of money that they cannot refuse. And could I do this before it was too late? Before they let the goddamn loggers cut down these goddamn woods? I'll cut down these goddamn woods for goddamn businesses to be set up in. I'm told, I was told in 1997 at the Kissing Regional Jetport, Jetport now the Global Trans Park, that this was the, that for the EPA's environmentalist impact statement, these woods was, were supposed to be preserved. But, watch this shit. All that shit right there. This is shit! Used to be goddamn farmland. And fields. You can see the traces and remnants. Do you see the old barn in the distance? That brings back a sense of nostalgia and spirituality to me as I look at it still. Thank God they had to cut that, pour that stuff down. But because. In the North County, in the city of Kissing, the state of North Carolina has torn down my, has fucked up my woods, my trails, my happiness. I curse the city of Kissing, North Carolina. I curse the global transport. I curse Spirit Enterprises over there. I curse the North County. I curse if part of it needs to be North Carolina itself, financially. I curse the city of Kissing, the perpetual failure, the economic depression. Until I can get my goddamn trail back, and uh, until I can have my goddamn trail have a definite ending, like it did when it used to come out to that old country church, it meant so much to me. Poop, that is. Poop, that is. Poop, that ain't. This is a global transport for you. Ain't shit happening else aside from that one motherfucking jet. This is supposed to be what is gonna bring Kinsley to the heights of prosperity. You see this shit? <gasps> you see shit? No, you don't, because there ain't shit to see. God damn it. And for this fucking shit, they torn down my fucking dirt road with my fucking favorite St. Peter's Free Baptist Church and rooted up and fucked up, fucked up my goddamn trails. And for that, I cursed the Global Trans Park, I cursed the city of Kissing, I cursed the North Carolina Department of Motor Vehicles, and I cursed North Carolina to fail in this endeavor. Right there used to be the airport pool. I remember going there in 1985. Five in 1986 with my friend Ernie Sugg and my brother and my cousin Paul swim there. Good, the students from Parrot Academy will swim there. And the lifeguards, oh, there were some good looking girls at that place. I wish that pool was still there. All American people went to that pool. Now they fucked it and now they fucking tore it down. And all for what you see or what you rather don't see here. You don't see shit here. And there ain't gotta be shit here. And I curse it. I curse it. 
Right there used to be the signaling tower. I remember me and Nart from uh, looking out the window at my room, of uh, my room at 1410 Farm Great Road, and seeing the white light flash, and then a green light flash, and the white light flash, and then a green light flash. You know, the signal, the airplanes, the land. But un unfortunately, it don't work here any fucking more. They move the fucking bitch somewhere way out there. That fucking shit pisses my ass off so I'm kind of fucking badly. And I curse you to failure for this. Also, for this shit too. Fuck you, state of North Carolina. Fuck you, NCDMV, for tearing down my fucking favorite church and that fucking dirt road and not building that goddamn four-lane highway a thousand feet further north so my favorite church could be, could have been spared. Fuck you. Just for that, I'm going to break this lawn when I get a car. Ride without my goddamn seatbelt and not have my headlights on while I'm using my goddamn windshield wipers. Fuck you. I curse you. And the entity of the NCDMV and that man who ran me off that church the last time I was there before they tore it down.